The board race record on Bulldog as of recording this video is 1 minute 20.48 and we're eight and a half years on from when the game was released. But how did we get here? Let's go back to 2012 and look at how board racing on Bulldog has progressed. In less than a month after the game's release, Space Marine 360 had posted a time of 1 minute 23.36 to his YouTube channel on the 25th of March 2012. When I was creating this video and I saw that time, I couldn't believe it was that fast, but I'd forgotten one key detail. When the game was released, Bulldog and some other drops had out-of-bound shortcuts which could be exploited. Effectively, you could take a really far right line and take a much smoother path to the finish line, crossing snow instead of the icy crevasse down the bottom. Space Marine took advantage of this and that's how he was able to post such a fast time so quickly. The fastest time using the Out of Bounds exploit was by a player named Zedek. He had posted a time of 1 minute 22.24 and he did use a slightly different line to Space Marine. Zedek went to the right at the start where a Space Marine went to the left, but this right hand route is what would become the standard line for Bulldog. I'm not exactly sure when Zedek got this time as he uploaded the video much later in 2012. EA released patch 1.02 on the 27th of March 2012. This fixed a load of bugs in the game and within this list of fixes included adjustments to the boundaries on Bulldog and some other drops too. What this meant was that any time set prior to the 27th of March were much faster than other riders initially since that out of bounds exploit had now been patched. Therefore any times posted on or after the 28th of March could no longer exploit that shortcut. In order for me to start looking at how Bulldog has really progressed, we have to start with the fastest racer after the patch. The question on everyone's mind at the time was, would it be possible to beat Zedek without using that out of bounds exploit? The first documented record after the patch was from a player named Fuzzy Pumper, who posted a time of 1 minute 27.69 to his YouTube channel on the 25th of May 2012. The first half of Fuzzy's run used the same line as Zedek, and this portion of the run hasn't really changed even to this day, although it has been optimised. Two days after Fuzzy's upload, we see a faster time posted to YouTube. A run of 1 minute 24.68 was posted by Lancast X. Lancast's run was much cleaner than Fuzzy's, and he used a more refined tricky time strategy. Fuzzy used the rail before the big drop into the final part of the run, whereas Lancaster took a route more to the right, which was much smoother and reduced his airtime into the bottom section of the drop. From this point on, players began to optimise Lancaster's route bit by bit. The next improvement comes to YouTube 144 days later, on the 18th of October 2012. A player named Morton, aka Northern Eagle 91 posted his time of 1 minute 22.73 which was just under two seconds faster than the previous record. Morton's line was much the same as the last two records, but he had taken a smoother line through the ice gully in the middle of the drop. This reduced his air time, and he also took a slightly modified line before the big drop down. Inspired by Lancast, Morton did take the right hand line, but didn't go as far to the right. Instead, Morton passed more closely to the large rock, which was faster and more direct into the bottom section of the run. The final noticeable difference in Morton's run was right at the end. Instead of riding through the ice trench at the bottom to cross the line, he tricked off the rail and rode the snow slightly on the right. At this point, his time was now only half a second behind ZX's run using the Out of Bounds exploit. Things on Bulldog got quiet for a while and no new video had surfaced showing a faster time than Morton's. However, on the 14th of November 2014, which was over two years later, Mist uploaded his run of a sub 122 to YouTube. In Mist's video, he says that he managed to get 122.09 five times before finally getting below the 122 mark. Mist's run was a more refined version of the previous record, but he had made two smaller changes to his tricky time strategy. Instead of filling the tricky meter by doing a large trick 
over the first jump on the right hand side, he actually did a smaller jump at the start which proved to be faster. He also eliminated a second jump at the point where you have to refill Tricky, about halfway through the drop. The previous records all did a second jump on the dam to refill Tricky, but Misery game Tricky within one portion of airtime, which was faster as well. At the end of his run, Mist did take the ice trench, which sparked up debate about whether the trench or riding the snow on the right was the fastest way to cross the line. Nonetheless, this was a very fast time and soon after Mist had improved again to a 121.73. Two years and seven months pass and things start getting busier on Bulldog again. A player named Live to Die on PSN posted a new record to YouTube on the 21st of June 2017. He had gotten a time of 121.68, which was five hundredths of a second faster than their previous record. The only real change to his run is that after you land to the big drop, he took a slight turn to the right and rode the snow towards a rail. The main benefit here is that as you connect with that rail, you can get a speed boost, which proved to be much faster than riding the same sort of ice trench towards that rail. And this is a technique that would be incorporated in each run to come. Live to Die improved his time to 121.65 soon after at the tail end of June 2017. At this point in time, there were two players on Xbox also racing for the record. That was myself, Nickel J, and Refine Notion. On the 2nd of July 2017, I'd gotten a new record of 121.52, but that was not enough to keep the record for long. By the end of the 5th of July, the record had been traded between myself and Notion another three times, but I had the current record of 121.05. Two days later, on the 7th of July, Refire Notion had hit a milestone. He'd posted the world's first sub-121, getting a time of 120.98. A time like this was incredible, and we were able to save a few tenths of a second by doing a late jump onto the final rail. I had played Bulldog for many hours over the past few months and was happy to have helped progress the record. So I set my sights back onto other drops for the time being, but since I was so close to getting sub 121, I had to return. It didn't take long for that itch to come back and I spent more time playing Bulldog in November 2017. And on the 2nd of December, I got a new record of 120.68, which was a much larger improvement than I'd expected to achieve. I'd actually employed a new tactic after the first rail where I did a late jump to get slightly less airtime into the trench. The rest of the run was pretty tidy um, and there was a small amount of time to be saved as I hadn't gotten a good speed boost onto the magnet rail at the end of the run. Having played so much Bulldog over the last few years, that drop embedded itself into my muscle memory and it made for a great warm up. On the 4th of November 2020, which was just under three years after my previous record, I crossed the line with a time of 1 minute 20.48. My line didn't change at all except for the ending, and I was fortunate to get a good boost onto the rail. In this record run, I actually opted to ride the snow after ejecting from the final rail instead of going through the ice trench, and even to this day, I'm still not convinced which way is quicker. Thanks for watching my video on how records have progressed on Bulldog from 2012 to 2020. My record run is playing in the background, so feel free to watch that. Hopefully you learned something new from this video and enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it.